So let's see what Harrison's all about. The hell is media punk? What does that even mean? Is that a job? Uh, how do I go back to the previous profile? There we go. Ah, okay. So wait. Oh. We should probably update her photo. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I can't put this photo in here? Are you serious? Oh. Okay. Alright. Joseph Langley. Oh. Hang on. Can't we update the picture? No. Well, okay, that's okay too. Anyway, let's get focused here. Who's Mary? I don't know who that is. Harrison. We're not gonna put media punk, because that's not a job. Considering to change my profession to being a full-time prophet. Ooh, he's much more caring about his privacy. Target, Haunted House Club, Cash, The National Beholder. Ooh. Deleted multiple posts from timeline. Everything alright with you? Now it is. Good fucking riddance. Lots of deleted posts. I feel sorry for the girl. It's clear she's been attacked and just panicked. Now they'll have her ask for this. We didn't start the fire. Whoa. The fascists turned this into a nightmare. People didn't do shit. The protest was peaceful until they showed up. They stormed the crowd and provoked what happened. Huh? Have you been suffering from a bad case of self-censorship lately? Or what's happening on your timeline? That's, uh, over half a year later. So this guy posted a lot of stuff. Up until the beginning of this year, but he since deleted it. Do we have something to hide then, Mr. O'Donnell? Can't we find what it said before? I feel like we can. Aha! This couple rocked the show, as it will rock the rest of the goddamn nation. This is... wrong. It should be. July 5th. Yeah, they were still dating then. But Juliet had that emo thing in December. Nobody took notice, no one cares. And the update, the family update. It was after that. Yeah, okay, so I feel comfortable putting this in um, Juliet's profile then. I mean, between being single and not single, eh, if it's with the same person, it should be, you know, that they broke up, but we don't know what happens. Like, I don't know, maybe they're the kind of couple that breaks up and gets together, breaks up and gets together. <laughs> Who knows? And I can't drag this in anymore. Yeah. Thank you for taking me along. Honestly, I didn't think that I would be welcomed so warmly. Nor that my humble skills would be worth me coming along. Oh, because she plays the guitar. And they used to be in a band together. Oh, that's the crowd behind them. Wow. If you've got it, flaunt it. And you've definitely got it, baby. Pulling the strings of a fancy guitar in the spotlights on stage suits you well. It makes you look even more awesome. Thank you, Mikey. Guess I should have pursued that musical career before even beginning my studies. Study is giving me headaches at the moment. Thank God it'll all be over soon. Wow. Oh, oh no, Harrison. Harry's one of those super jealous guys, Jesus. Mike! Why don't you go ask Juliet out right now, huh? No need for hiding anything. I can provide a nose correction just for you, to make you look just as awesome. You want that? No? Then off you fuck. Off you fuck. <laughs> this guy, Mike, he posted this compliment on your status. It's not even on Juliet's status. Why are you being so insecure? Oh my god, it's not, it's not attractive. <laughs> Harry, calm down a bit, will you? I don't think Mike meant to be flirty. Sorry, Mike. Harry went a bit over the top there. 
I can see uh, this being a tiring relationship. Never thought I was gonna write this one day. First day at Stellingen. Feeling so elite, it makes me want to comb my hair. Any survival tips, my most valuable social network associates? You? At Stelligan? Lizabeth? Nice joke, Harry. You're a bit early for April Fools, you know. Why can't I go and attend university like a decent human being without raising eyebrows everywhere, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's as a guest in a lecture of a friend. You got me. But still, shit just got real. Guest in a lecture of a friend. So he's friends with... Goldfells. Huh. That's not really attending. <laughs> First day? A guest? Doesn't a guest usually just come for one lecture? That doesn't even- Like, why would you say first day at Stelligan? <laughs> hmm. Wait. If he's a guest lecturer, doesn't that make the relationship between Juliet and Harry... Kind of... What's wrong with the relationships in this town? Everyone is like, I don't know, the relationships are... Non-standard. Ooh, got a new thing over there. So this website is from Rosen Tech. Shaping visions bit by bit. Who is this? When I founded Rosen Tech in 1998, my vision was a simple one. There should be a tailor-made software for any purpose. Who would have thought that a guy hailing from a mere attic in his parents' home could create the single most important software company in the nation. For the record, Google was created in somebody's garage, so <laughs> not that implausible. Certainly not me. Who would have thought that the government would take interest in the company and become its greatest stakeholder? Certainly not me, again. Do you have a name? Victor Rosen. Against my wildest expectations, but due to my sheer stubbornness, a lot of persistence and a little bit of luck, Rosentech today employs that 5.106 workers. What? How come I can't read this? A lot of persistence and a bit of luck. Rosentech today. Oh, it's because this guy doesn't know when to use commas. That's why I'm getting so confused. Rosentech today employs that 5.106 workers and 224 successfully completed projects. Oh, 5,000! Yeah, because in some European countries, they use a period, but in uh, North America, we use a comma, so that really threw me off. And these figures keep increasing so fast that I added a live counterscript to this patient keep it update. So what's the essence from my experience? Although I never expected it, my vision proved to be a very strong one. Now, let's see what's in yours. Where is the live counter? It's not here. Ten Commandments? Are we looking at a cult here? Any vision is valuable. Software can solve any problem. Embrace the client's vision. Open-mindedness and transparency are key. Always stay in touch with the clients. Synchronous over asynchronous communication. Phone and meeting in person over email? Okay. Ooh. They don't have any email addresses because of this. Wow. Think about your responsibility. You should be aware that you can change the world. Fix your mistakes and learn from them. There is something healthy about mistakes. Like a catharsis, they will wash out your flaws one by one, provided that we notice and revert them. This is why we always let each piece of code be reviewed by our specialized review task force. Wow. Work here and now. In the present. You can do better. Okay. Uh, I mean, these are pretty cool... Uh, commandments? Cool guidelines to have for a company. But I feel like it's more for the employees rather than the public. Following the sixth commandment of Rosen Tech, which is probably the asynchronous thing, we rely heavily on communication and collaboration with you. We would like you to call us directly so that we can easily discuss your needs. Our vision shaping team is ready at any time to form a software that fulfills your needs. Please call. Or are you from the press? Our PR team will gladly answer all of your questions. 
Maria Harper, Rami French, head of vision shaping, <laughs> head of PR, ooh, or her friendly substitute. Should I put this one in? Uh, I think this one looks better. And it's more reflective of what she wants herself to be seen as, right? Because it's on her timeline. Uh, phone number? Yeah? Good work. The listener will also be tracking incoming and outgoing telephone calls of numbers you have added. Ooh. Is that live? Her mom. Welcome to Rosentech. This is PR assistant Juliet Carrington speaking. How may I be of sir? Hello, Juliet Carrington. This is Esther. You sound so official at work. Oh, uh, hi, mom. Is this important? You know I can't take personal calls while I'm at work. I just wanted to check in, make sure you're home for dinner tonight. Actually, I'm heading out with some friends from work. Time for some Bonton clubbing. Honey, please don't. On the news, they said it would be advisable to avoid public places. They expect another bombing. Mom, I get that you're worried, but I can't just sit at home with you every night of the week. That's exactly what those terrorists want us to do. Avoid public life. We can't give up our freedom for that. Honey, please! You won't have much freedom left if you're dead! Mom, I won't die! How can you be so sure about that? I could just as easily be hit by a car on my way home to your lovely dinner. Don't say that! Just think, this ridiculous group has gotten you into nothing but trouble. What were they called? Alright, jeez, mom. I'm gonna think about it, okay? Thank you, honey. Mom, I'm sorry, but I really have to go now if I don't want Victor Rosen to personally fire me. I... I gotta go. Sorry. Love you. Bye. She is really into the nightlife now. I wonder if we can find something that... can change this. Lives with her parents. Yeah? Uh, yeah, yeah. Now to find her parents' address. Yeah, and that's one thing, too. A lot of media and stuff always portray that as soon as people turn 18, they move out of their home. But I feel like these days, because of the economy, a lot of people, a lot of new graduates and stuff, are living with their parents still. Which is totally fine. Actually, I'm heading out with some friends from work. Plans to go out in Bonson on Friday evening. Friday evening? Is that today? Okay, sure. It's Friday and Miss Carrington has plans to go out tonight in Bonson. That information would normally be innocuous. But we know that she actively dislikes going out. People are truly creatures of habit. Maybe she really does want to go out, but that does seem a little bit odd. What is she really doing? Hmm. Clubbing. It's not normally an activity that someone who dislikes going out would do. Oh, I wonder if she's still dating Harry. They could be dating. They could still be dating, and she just didn't tell her mom or something. Victor Rosen, boss. Okay. Wow, our web is slowly getting bigger and bigger. Juliet Carrington. Oh, from Cassandra. Hello. Hi, Cass. What happened yesterday? Juliet, this is Joseph on Cassandra's account. Oh, sorry. Hi, Joseph. Didn't know you had access to Cassie's account. Nice to finally talk to you. Oh, they've never met. You too, Juliet. Have you seen Cassandra since yesterday evening? Heard from her at all? Why do you have her phone? I spoke to her last night via chat. She seemed quite upset about the whole Freedom Plaza thing, and something else she wouldn't talk about. Then there was someone at her door, so she went to answer it and never came back. I assumed it was you. We were supposed to meet for dinner. 
but I had an unexpected meeting with a client. She wasn't exactly happy about the change of plans. She quit the chat and that was it. I haven't heard from her since. In that case, I think she's probably at home stewing away. Well, I just tried that. She did give me the key to her flat two months ago, but no Cassie. Also, her PC was still on. Hmm, I guess calling her didn't work either? I tried. No answer. Damn, I hate myself right now. Did you set your number to private? Otherwise, she's probably just avoiding you. Private is my default setting. After all, I am a lawyer. Ha! Cassie told me you were funny. What? What's so funny about that? <laughs> I think you shouldn't worry too much. It's probably nothing. When Cassie's mad, she usually ghosts and wanders around the city. She'll be back in no time. Yeah, she does get a bit fiery at times. We had an argument once and, well, guess what happened? See, this is why I wanted to talk to you. I feel like sometimes you know her better than I do, and I'm her goddamn boyfriend. Oh, I doubt that somehow. I mean, you two were in this thought group together, right? You both went to the Freedom Plaza protest. And so I thought maybe you'd know other places that could be important for the two of you. For, or for her. Where she could be at. Joseph, I'm sorry. Freedom Plaza was organized by thought. Yeah, but Harrison did all the planning for it. I don't know much else. Oh, I see. I wish I could help, but I honestly don't have a clue. Well, thank you anyway, Juliet. Don't mention it. I'll text you when she turns up or if I get an idea. Huh. Why is Cassandra not being allowed to contact anyone from the outside? She should be allowed to contact her lawyer, right? Ooh. Conflict. Okay. Well, it's probably best if we don't add it in if there's a conflict. For now. Yep, so we got that. Oh, that's it. That's it for the website. Ooh. Something here? No, I don't see anything here. But it has a star. Is there a page I haven't looked at, or...? Oh! Oh, okay, yeah. Huh, funny. This is right around the corner from where I live. Oh. Maybe, maybe you're the one involved. <laughs> what the heck? Whoa, okay, let's look at the targets first. Is this the band that Juliet and Cassandra likes, or is this the band that Juliet is actually a part of? We are the track you are ashamed of in your fine-tuned playlist. The unexplainable gap in your seemingly flawless CV. Your drunken selfie in your timeline's profile. The porn movie found on your work computer. You cannot avoid us because we are you. We are the targets. Ah! Harrison. What does that... Is that like their stage name or something? Hancock? Vocals, guitar. Danton, Damien. Castro? Rod? Backing vocals? Oh, yeah, sure, we should update this. Yeah, especially because this photo has sunglasses, so you can't really see what the hell's happening. Yeah. Hancock. Nickname? Alias? Oh ho, that's quite an ego we've got there, haven't we? <laughs> what? What's wrong with Hancock? Is that a reference to something musical I don't know? Former members... Tubman? <laughs> what kind of an alias is that? Tar. Oh, that's the same photo, isn't it? The one on her timelines. Yeah, it is. It's just flipped over. Like it often is. You know, photo apps these days, everything is always flipped over <laughs> for some reason. Tubman! Cool. Get your asses ready for the return of the targets and our new album! For the premiere, we're headed back to the scene of the first crime, the haunted house. Ooh. 
cancelled. Okay, that's in uh that's in five days. But it's cancelled. A friend of mine claims to have heard that Hancock decided to quit the ban, but no official statement has been given out. A wholehearted thumbs down for that bullcrap. Gotta find me another faith ban now, you better do the same. It's a rumor. What? And now the whole thing got cancelled? What's going on? It's such a shame that Tubman left again. Why? Good lord, not those emos on the show again. Why do you do this to us? Why? Yeah, finally! Really looking forward to this one. You gotta play Pipe Dreams. So freaking cool. Tubman left again? That's a really definitive way of saying it. Former member of the band Targets? But yeah, out of all the people here, like I would say these other two guys are probably more replaceable because the vocals, the vocals are the life of a band. Okay, sure, we'll put this in. Nope, wrong profile. I don't know about this though. Maybe we'll hold off on that one. It's a little bit definitive. Advertisement for the poor. Ooh, pipe dreams. Our album is now available at any damn good music store. The physical ones. Screw streaming! What is this? What is this? Is this not a stream? <laughs> oh my god! A riot! Rise, you're inside. You're inside what? <laughs> a riot. Wrong about us. Oh, they seem to be... Yeah, they seem to be kind of... The names of the tracks. A riot. Ooh. Got a email. Excellent. You will now have access to any emails coming in or out of this account. That is amazing. Technology. Orwell security system, everybody. Okay, well that seems to be it. Uh, since there's no conflicting one for this one, I guess I should just put it in anyway. It's not always a smart choice though, I don't think, but... Mm. What? Oh! Something else here? No, I've already... Oh! Ah! There are previous gigs. So there's this again. Huh. New portrait? Nah, that's old. That's old. Guess who's on stage, baby? The fine folks from Haunted House will have us at their place in November! Reading this, you're commanded to come. Haunted House. The Cell. Also featuring our new band member, Tubman. Oh, there are comments! There are comments on each uh, gig. Wow! Ooh, it's uh, Cassandra. Wow, that was such a blaze! Really love your new guitarist, Tress. We'll definitely come to the Freedom Plaza demo. I just have to get to know Juliet, especially since she's the one organizing- What the heck? Wow. Is Juliet lying? Really nice show, but geez, can you get rid of Tearing Down, please? Blast Tense was so much better, in my opinion. You found yourselves a brilliant new guitarist there. Seems a bit shy though, but sure doesn't have to. Rock on, targets. Shit, shit, shit! Missed to buy tickets! Anyone willing to trade? That's really weird. How do I know what to put? How do I know? Hello, 
Mr. O'Donnell. Thank you for shopping at the Semi Rami's flowers. Flowers? To Angela. Who the hell's Angela? Bank account. Oh my god. Who the heck just puts bank account information in an email like this? I would never do business with them. Huh. So it seems like he's dating someone new. This is so confusing though. This part? Um... My immediate thought is that I want to put in this one and not the one that Juliet said because there's no reason for Cassandra to lie. But Juliet does have a reason to lie if she planned it. Does that make sense? Like, there's no reason why Cassandra would lie, but Juliet, on the other hand, it seems like maybe she wants to cover up that she was related to this. Especially because this guy's a lawyer. Oh, by the way, I forgot about this. Oh, no, come on. Cassandra's not a lawyer. We already know that this is Joseph. Cassandra gave access to her chat account to Joseph. We should add that in. Not too uncommon in a relationship, is it? Very bad. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do this, okay? This is stupid. Why would you give your passwords away to someone else? It's dumb. Yeah. I gotta remember to use the chunks after I read them, because sometimes I just forget. Not too sure about this one. I'll leave it alone for now. What else do we have? Hancock, I love you! So amazing! My new favorite band! Greatest band of the nation, except for the proclamations and stuff you did at the show. That was really weird. Yeah, even before Juliet, Harry was already into the whole politics stuff. I don't know about this. We should put something in, but how do I... Oh god. What's going on here anyway? I don't know. Wait, what the actual... The moment you opened that dock, malicious code injection was detected in Orwell. We've had 47 attack warnings and still counting. What the hell is on that site? Uh, should we get out? Okay. Whoa, um... Is it bad if I go again? Can I do anything here? Oh, someone knows about us. Oh, I'm not sure what to make of this, but we should be a little bit more careful about... Pressing on random things on the internet, huh? Because we don't have an antivirus, apparently. <laughs> Bank account. Last login four days ago. It's got a thousand dollars. Okay. Easy vid? Isn't that a real thing? A real program? For recording videos? <laughs> MCATO Supermarket Bonson. Eh, just regular stuff. The People's Drugs and Farm Pharmacy. Bonton EC Pay. Very frequent customer in a Bonton drugstore. Health insurance. Two. There's a lot. Well, we should probably put down the EC Pay thing. No? Oh, wrong profile. Either he values his hygiene, or it might as well be material intended to wash away Freedom Memorial. What? But we don't have any proof of what he bought. What is this on-demand monthly video thing? <laughs> Overdraft charge. Hang on. Whoa, where did he get this money from? 3500 The National Beholder Publishing... Oh! Does he write for them or something? Payment from the National Beholder. Sounds like some sort of secret affiliation. Keep looking for more info. Insurance? Sure. 
A guy his age? Planning on doing something dangerous, perhaps? You make a lot of suggestions. <laughs> hmm. Putting the safe in safety. First National Bank. So this guy went from being poor as hell. Why is this guy still watching videos or whatever, even though he's so poor? Oh my god. But then he mysteriously got some... new money. Hmm. Oh. Something else? I don't think so. Okay. Ooh, uh-oh. Whoa. We need to delete this. Security warning about us logging into his account. We were unable to determine whether you have used this browser or device with your online banking account before. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. How do I stop this? How do I delete this? I can't delete this? Oh no. Yeah. I can access everything, but the things I can access, those organizations don't necessarily know that I have access to it, so that's not good. Okay, again. There are no more stars. What should I be doing now? Find out where the three protests of thought took place. Yeah. The three... The haunted house? How do I find this, though? Hmm. So we got some mysterious hacking thing going on here. Which I keep clicking on, so we're probably gonna get hacked. At the bank. I don't think there's anything else we can do here. Nothing else has a new thing, so maybe I missed something. Oh, this goes- oh no. Maybe I missed something. Huh. Hang on. No, nothing here. Places, right? We're looking for places. The haunted house is a place. The cell is a place. <laughs> what should I be doing? Yeah, no, we shouldn't update this picture. Disable it? Nah, just leave it alone. Not much on the website. Our family? I don't think so. Anything I haven't put in? Ah, oh, what am I missing? Owns two health insurances. Oh! Maybe the National Beholder. How do we find anything about that, though? Yeah, this is the homepage, but it's not like they're gonna say, Hey, we sent $3,500 to Harrison O'Donnell. <laughs> ha. Huh. Oh, you know what? It's probably this. I haven't updated this yet. Plan the Freedom Plaza protest of thought. Yeah, I don't know what to put here, because I'm, I'm not sure. He buys a lot of stuff at a drugstore, but I don't really find that to be suspicious. Not really. Can we check the dates of the bombing again? What were the dates of the bombing? Bombings. If I go to the newspaper. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial. So this was April 13th. April 13th. And then... Oh, hang on. Wait, is this the same day? April 13th? Oh, wow. I think it is. Well, at least it was reported on the same day. And... According to his bank account... April 13th... He sent flowers to some girl after the bombing happened. The drug... Uh. See, he's been steadily going to the drugstore even before the bombing. Even a month before. So, I'm not too sure if he was buying any supplies for planning or whatever. 
Uh, I think I just have to pick one. I'm not sure what I can go off of. And like I said, I think I'm more inclined to believe what Cassandra says instead of, you know, what the person in question is saying. She's clearly pushing it to someone else, so... Okay. There's not enough information. We just have to take a gamble, I think. Well, if, if there was enough information, no, that's just too bad then. <laughs> so that Freedom Plaza demonstration was one of Thought's protests. Not immensely surprising. One down, two more protest locations to go. Ooh. Are they cordial still? Are they dating? Or are they broken up? You got O'Donnell. Harrison, it's me. Well, 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 look who it is. I knew this moment would come one day, but you've caught me by surprise. Harrison. Shh, Juliet. Ever since we first made out in the clear net in the Seligan Greenfield, I knew it was destiny. I know you've never really meant so. Will you please spare me your juvenile bullshit? Ha! <laughs> I didn't believe it at first, but it really is you. To what do I owe the pleasure of your beautiful voice? You miss me, right? So this is why you did it? To make me call you back again? The heck are you talking about? Oh, come on! Don't play dumb, great administrator! I'm talking about the thought page you so generously volunteered to maintain. What? Give me a sec. What the, the fuck is this shit? You messing around with me, Jules? Are you seriously trying to say this wasn't your doing? Why would I want a fucking disgraced thought? Maybe because of the same reason you bailed out of thought all of a sudden. Thought didn't do shit anymore since Abe disappeared. But turning it around that way made a damn fine excuse for you to bail out on the two of us, huh? Maybe then because you disgraced thought before hiding all of the articles on the thought blog except Cassandra's. Abe archived the first ones because he didn't even want us to know. None of us could ever access him. I merely did the same with the rest because that would be also in Abe's interest. And Cass wanted to show her article around. Oh, please. I know you deleted all your rebellious posts to secure your cozy job writing that ridiculous opinion column for the TNB. You know, it's funny you dare speaking of disgrace when Rosen is the government's personal bitch, because you didn't know. Almost makes you do the same in my book. Almost makes you the same in my book. So you really don't know anything about the hack then? I don't have a freaking clue. Can you revert the changes? You bet. I'll even hunt down the son of a bitch. What? Just revert it, okay? I don't care who did it. I just can't stand our memories being toyed with. Okay, okay. We'll be done in no time, ma'am. Never could say no to you. If only. Anyway, thank you. Ah, so they're on speaking terms, but Juliet is so over him. <laughs> Ooh, there's a lot of stuff here. Is this really relevant? Shared intimacies with Juliet Carrington at Stelican Universe. Uh, we'll leave it for last. I don't think it's relevant. <laughs> Columnist. Hides thought past to secure TNB job. Oh, maybe that's why he quit the band too. Wow. Oh, wrong profile. Hey. I read this one quite regularly. I wasn't at all aware it was our guy. The TNB probably didn't know either. Also, this must be what that large payment he received was for. Huh. Uh, more new stuff. Hid articles on Thought Blog. Yeah, he did it. He admitted to doing it. Hid first articles on thought blog from other members and the public. Okay. Well, let's look at this one first. First the timeline and now the thought blog. You have a lot to hide, Mr. O'Donnell. Abe? Abe hit the first ones. Sure. This gets more confusing by the minute. Why do you hide something on a group blog from its own members? 
hidden agenda, perhaps. Thought didn't do shit anymore since Abe disappeared. Yep. Yeah, former relationship. Juliet broke up with him. Abraham Goldfels disappeared? Causing the group to be inactive? They're no longer active? Well, seems to me like someone still is. Oh, it's rainy. It's a rainy, rainy day today. They're broken up? Seems that today's new targets have a common history. Something more than belonging to thought. Yup. No longer a member of thought. But Juliet, the way she's saying that makes me think that she's still a member. Meaning he quit them before they were officially disbanded? We need to keep observing him nonetheless. Yeah. This guy, maybe he realizes that all the stuff he's doing is not really... It's not really furthering himself in life. So he quit all this stuff and became a journalist. A columnist. Not really sure what the difference is. Um... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Uh, okay. Stelligan again. This university seems to play a major role for the members of Thought. Well, it's where they met. <laughs> oh 